Cause no one would ask me Should I fly The bird sings No one asks why Oh, how I'd love to bounce across those puffballs Look at those clouds Look how tall they are And how far you can see from up here I'd love to fly like a bird couldn't be all that hard. I mean, after all, I've really been flying all my life. My dreams, but that counts, doesn't it? My inner muse of my passionate me said, Come on, you can fly. Why not? Yes, yes. Three days later, Monday morning, I got there about an hour before my appointment. This was my Cessna Discovery flight. I walked the flight line. Are you my first adventure, you pretty bluebird? How about you, yellow duck? How about you, sassy red flyer? I looked at the time. Hmm, 30 minutes late. Then, all of a sudden, I looked across the field and I saw the dust of a car just shooting straight at me. Good morning. He rubbed his unshaven face and he looked at me. He was pitiful. My CFI certified flight instructor. He turned out to be a 24-year-old commercial pilot wannabe who showed up well used from a friend's Saturday night wedding bash. I'm not feeling so well. Do you really want to fly today? Maybe we could reschedule. Uh, uh, never mind, never mind. Let's just do it. Come on. Uh... Here's a, here's a fuselage right here. He did his checklist, and in his final run-up here at the end of the runway, he revved the engine, and suddenly off we started. Slowly rolling down the runway, he barely covered some of the useful terms, but I was happy that he did. Here's the yoke, the rudder, throttle, trim, altimeter. We had taken off, and the climb was perfect. The view. Oh, the view. I could barely keep my eyes in the cockpit. But then, all of a sudden, a thud got my attention and I looked over at Mike and there he was. Passed out. Today, these weren't normal conditions. This was my discovery flight. What am I going to discover now? I nudged him a little bit. He was out cold. I've always flown. And my muse said, in your dreams, sweetheart. We've always flown very well. I gently pulled the yoke into my belly and the nose responded. It pitched up. Now, keeping the airport directly beneath me, I turned. I banked just a little to the left. <laughs> oh, to the right. I checked out what flying and instruments had to do with me inside this metal can. Look at that skyline. Why, there's the Galleria. There's downtown. Oh, my. Oh, 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 too much rudder. Oh, my. okay, straighten, straighten. Pay attention, pay attention. Nose on the horizon. This was fine. Inside, I discovered that I knew I knew what to do. And not only that, I wanted to do more. The bird sings, no one A surge of joy fly. filled me. I flew around the area, of course, staying directly over the airport, for almost 30 minutes. I had actually found a home for myself there in the sky. So, how are we going to get down back on the ground? Landing? Well, that could be different. I nudged Mike again. He was out cold. So my muse says to me, we land quite well, you and I, so let's do it again. How does landing feel? Like a bird, I just settle down onto the ground. Whoa, that's enough now. Ooh, the nose pitched up as I dropped 10 degrees flaps. Luckily, it was an uncontrolled field, and I didn't have to use the radio, and there was no traffic anywhere. I set up for the landing, and I gently settled down. And so we landed that Cessna. A perfect landing. Well, almost. Mike didn't tell me how to drive this plane on the land. And I didn't know about rudder steering. I hit him fully in the chest as the plane and all of us began to head across the adjacent cow pasture. He grabbed the controls, shocked suddenly into sobriety. 
But just before we collided into a hangar, we stopped. Safe and sound. I walked into the office as Mike pushed the plane back into the flight line. <laughs> he was red-faced for sure as he staggered into the office. Seventy-five dollars? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But, tell you what, sign me up for training. I have to fly. That morning, I joined in the spirit of flying, along with the thousands of women pilots who were here before me and who perhaps, like me, could not say no to the muse of the sky. If I had wings, no one would ask me, should I fly? The bird sings, no one asks why I can see in myself Wings as I feel them If you see something else Keep your thoughts to yourself I'll fly free